Hey guys, Jonathan here, and I've got something that I've been working on for three years. If you look, it's this giant wooden, no, I'm just kidding, but this really is wooden. And my friend Fred from England, who you'll remember, he went to LEGO HQ with me last year. He got this from his local LEGO store in England back in 2008. Hey Jonathan, hope you're doing well. I'm sure you've already given the little introduction to the video, but when we recently moved from the UK to Australia, I had a few loose ends to tie up, and one of those was a package I'd been meaning to send you for a long time. But let's give a little backstory on it first, shall we? So back in, I'm assuming 2008, my memory might be tricking me here, but during the promotional cycle for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, the Lego store, or my local Lego store in Blue Water in Kent, was of course deep in the promotional cycle for it, and of course had all the Indiana Jones sets in for the film, which was very exciting indeed. And they had a full display going on there. And in fact, I found a photo of this online, which I'm sure Jonathan can stick up here somewhere. And you can see a little circle in Jan Jones in there, in the one that tubes. Now I sent that to you, Jonathan, prior, and I'm sure you can show it in this video as well. It's kind of a little teaser. But the rest of the display is not really present in there. Some bits that, well, I don't know where those are now. But my dad went in, knowing that I was a huge Indiana Jones fan at the time, saying, can we get these when you're done with them for my son? And they said, yeah, of course, that's fine, which seems to go against what you might get today. And my dad went in on the date they gave him and unfortunately started throwing a number of the bits away. But a few key elements remain, thankfully, including one huge and so, so cool one. But I'm going to let you reveal that. Basically, I had these bits for years and they were so cool and I absolutely loved them. But as years went by, I just didn't have room to put them where I was living or just kind of the place to put them. It's, they're items that really need to, they belong in a museum, let's put it that way. And when we discovered that we shared a love of Lego and Jan Jones from that time period, how could I not decide that you ultimately were the person that needed to have all this? So, from me to you, and well, from Indy to you. I hope you enjoy these bits. They belong in your fantastic, fantastic collection. And above all, hope to see you soon, man, but enjoy. And to everyone else, you're gonna absolutely have your minds blown. Jonathan, over to you. Ready for this, folks. This one is gonna be wild. Fred and I have been talking about me getting this from him for years, and he's about to move to Australia. So the time was nigh for him to get rid of this and get it to me. I have no idea how I'm going to get it out of here, and oh my gosh, this is massive. Holy cow. All right, well, let's start with the craziest, most exciting part first. <laughs> this is a lenticular Indiana Jones store display from the English Lego scene in 2008. So when you move it, you can see his whip cracks up and down. That is pretty awesome. And then the other side is just blank. And while that sits there, there's more in here. Now, I will admit that that is the craziest, coolest part. But part of the reason why it took so long to get this from Fred is because it was really, really difficult to figure out how to ship something this big. So here, we've got Lego store display boxes, property of Dr. Jones. And I'll put some images up on the screen now that this was like the, I don't know how you would word it. It was like the skirting that would go around one of the kiosks at the Lego store. So if you can imagine like this, the kiosk would be here and then all the sets would be on display in acrylic in here. And you can see there's a little something sticking to the front here. They also had like some window displays and stuff. And unfortunately, Fred told me that these did get like broken and cut up over the years. But just like Indiana Jones, it's very cool to save all of this history. And there should be a few more in here. You know, you can barely even tell what they are anymore, but they were branding for the Crystal Skull. It's pretty cool. So I've got another one here. You could see like that sticker style was used in the Crystal Skull Temple. I think there's one or two more pieces in here, but that's about it. So, you know, it is tough to tell what this stuff is, but to somebody like me and presumably you being an Indiana Jones fan to watch this video to this point, this stuff is real history and it's incredibly cool to own. I mean, this stuff isn't even documented out there really. 
but I have found some photos. So like I said, I will put those up in the video, but big, big thanks to Fred for getting these to me. They will be loved forever, and I can't wait to find the perfect home for them here at Mini Superheroes Today HQ. Thanks again to Fred. Thanks to you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.